Physiology in medical school can be difficult because it requires understanding, causal reasoning, and basically an integration of a lot of stuff. But as you will soon find out, that physiology is one of the key fundamental subjects in medical school because you first have to learn how the body functions normally so that you will know when it doesn't and then you'll then know what to give as treatment. So that's what we'll talk about in this episode of Study Club, our ongoing series where we discuss the tips and tricks of how to study basic sciences subjects in medical school. And in this video, I'm going to talk about my top three tips of how to study physiology in medical school, let's get into it. Now, tip number one is to use recommended resources. Now, it depends on what your medical school is recommending to use, but a quick list of physiology books consists of Guyton Hall, Ganong, and BRS Physiology. But when I was in medical school, especially when I really can't seem to understand the topic, I would go and open my first aid. Now, what's useful when you do this is that at a glance, you'll immediately get a big picture perspective of that topic. And with that, you'll be able to form a sort of framework in your mind of how things work and how certain events occur from one to the next and this will help you when you dive right into the details in the textbook which leads us to tip number two which is to get the big picture first and then you go over the details now, some students might get tempted and just jump right into the chapter or paragraph that the teacher will said will be asked in the exams but when studying physiology don't focus on the details first know the general idea of how things work and once you get the big picture and then you can focus on the details now let's say you're studying renal physiology and you just want to get it over with so you jump right into the middle of the discussion of the macula densa. Now you might understand bits of it, but if you didn't start reading from the beginning of the chapter, you'll miss the part where the book talks about how the macula densa functions as a part of the tubuloglomerular feedback system. Now the point is you have to start reading from the beginning of the chapter so you'll get the whole picture first of how each structure and its corresponding function are interconnected with the others. Now tip number three is do a lot of review questions. Now, just like with any subject, to test your understanding of the topic, you have to test yourself. Physiology questions really rely heavily on understanding and knowledge integration. So it's not enough that you finish reading all your handouts or that book chapter. You must test yourself if you really understood the topic because the next lessons will build on your knowledge from the previous one. Now you can find a lot of review questions at the end of every chapter and in the case of BRS Physiology there's a bunch of questions at the end of every chapter and there's a 101 item comprehensive examination at the very end with rationale so you, I recommend that you go and check that out. If you like this video and you want to know more tips for studying in medical school, check out this video right here where I talked about how to study for anatomy in medical school. Thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.